Hello Zebraherd and welcome to New Super Mario Bros. Wii, one of my favorite Mario games of all time. You might remember that last month I played New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS and you guys loved that a ton. So I figured the only sensical thing to do is to play the next game in the series. I love this thing to pieces. It's one of my favorite Mario games, definitely my favorite New Super Mario Bros. game. So I'm gonna be having a lot of fun as we go through this game 100% going through all of the worlds, tackling all the star coins, boss fights, secret exits, teleportation cannons, whatever they call those things. I'm really excited for it. So let's go ahead and get started. No more dilly-dallying. Let's get started with New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Today is Princess Peach's birthday. Oh, isn't that nice? It sure looks like it. Look at all the, the, the presents and the flowers and the eggs uh, and the cake with hair on it. I don't think I want a slice of that cake. Oh, oh gosh, it's Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings. Now I really don't want a slice of that cake. <laughs> Did they just take her already? Come on, it's been like two and a half seconds. We can't get like any exposition except it's her birthday and boom, she's gone. And Mario and the gang are chasing after her. It's not just Mario this time, but Luigi and two toads. What about this toad? Is he chasing after as well? Oh, wait. I guess he doesn't want the princess to be without her presence on her birthday. But what were the symbols on them? We had a penguin and like a little helicopter helmet. Ooh. Maybe, just maybe, they're brand new power ups. Come on, Mario, Luigi, Toads, keep running. I don't know if you guys are really fast or if that airship is really slow, but I guess we'll find out when we catch up. Oh, look at World One. This is looking really good. Oh, and there's Roy Koopa. How are you doing, dude? Probably as evil as always, right? Okay. And here we are, World 1. So this is the new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii. Like I said before, one of my favorite new Super Mario Bros. games. We're gonna be doing our best at 100% th this first world today. And yeah, it sort of just goes right into it. So why don't we go right into it with World 1-1? I am so excited for this. Like I said, I love this game so much. I'll probably be explaining throughout the series why I love it so much, but for now, let's just focus on the first level. Uh, and I, I just like how you can see Princess Peach's castle in the background. Worst birthday ever, you get abducted by evil Koopalings, but we'll do what we can. And that's a new addition to the new Super Mario Bros. series. There's a pipe down here, I wanna go check this out that in New Super Mario Bros. for the DS, you were de dealing with Bowser Jr. and Bowser and a slew of other baddies, but not the Koopalings. Here in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, they start using the Koopalings. So that's a def definitely an interesting change. And I'm hoping I can play well for you guys because this is, like I said, my favorite New Super Mario Bros. game. And I also feel, feel like it's one of the easiest. It's a really a breeze, a pleasant breeze to play through. So yeah, let's try to check out some new power-ups, let's play these new levels, and have a good time. I definitely wanna hear, if you guys have played this game before, be sure to let me know. Oh boy, let's be careful about this. Oh, I got some coins. I'll be sure to earn up as many lives as I can right at the beginning, but I remember this game being super easy when it comes to earning up lives, so let's hope that's not gonna be an issue. And we got a little checkpoint right there, and we got our first star coin. Just like in the last game, we have three star coins to collect, and here's our first one. So I could go up there, but I sort of want to run over this way for one specific reason. And also, I haven't mentioned it. We got a new power-up, it's a propeller cap. I don't know why I just <laughs> didn't even realize. I guess I played this game so much, it's a little second nature to me, just be like, okay, pick up a propeller cap. But yeah, you shake the Wiimote and Mario goes flying into the air, but quickly, we need to go into this pipe. The thing about this pipe is you only get, I think, one chance to hop into it before it disappears for good. And that's not good, so you wanna go into there and get the second star coin. And then we can worry about everything else in the level because it's not as time sensitive, like going up here and hitting this block and getting another one up. Now every time you do exit the pipe, you do sort of get like a second chance to go through. This time we're not gonna go down, even though it really wants me to shake my Wiimote right now. I'm not going to, because I'll start flying. But if you keep moving, as you can see, there's a bit of an invisible wall, which I think is another new addition to this game, is that there's invisible walls everywhere. And in here we can get even more one-ups. You can get an insane amount of lives on the very first level. Definitely if you're running low on them, I suggest playing through this level a couple times and you should be right back up the speed. So we're not quite done over, oh gosh, leave me alone, no. The Koopa stole my, my propeller cap. You gotta be careful. I wanna go up this way, because you can see there's a ton of stuff I missed, and I think that if I go back, I should be able to get another propeller cap. Yep, yep, yep. And up here, there's a couple things as well. So it's sort of a bit of a, you know, like a brand, branching path, I guess you could say. 
and that gives me another one up, just in case I was running a little low on lives. Which I'm not, we already have 12. Excuse me, Mr. Koopa, please don't hit me. Oh, they dance to the music in this game too, I love that. And there's Dark Coin number three, wait, wait, go back. Got it. Okay, very cool. But some of you may notice, if you're a long time Zebra Gamer fan, that I've actually played this level, not this level, but this game before for you guys. I wanted to play through it again because when we played through New Super Mario Bros. for the DS last month, a lot of you just requested that I should. And the Zebra Herd has grown since so much since four or five years ago that I figured a lot of you haven't seen me play the game and you want to see me play it, so there's World 1-1 one, one, done. Let's keep moving. We got World 1-2. This is actually one of my favorite levels. This is a lot of fun. Honestly, World 1 of this game is a really solid World 1. Every level has something fun going on with it. I think it's just a really solid Mario platformer. A little straightforward with how it works, but sometimes that can be a really good thing. And here, we have our other new power-up. It's the Ice Flower. So, just like the Fire Flower, it will throw out a little ball that'll bounce, but then it turns them into ice. And if we pick them up, we can throw them and they keep sliding. I don't think there was an ice ability in the game before this, or in a Mario game before this. I'm pretty sure this is the first time it showed up, but then it showed up again a little later with Super Mario Galaxy. So it's a pretty cool power up. Unlike the propeller cap, it doesn't have too many appearances in none of the Mario games. And we also have the PAL block, which wasn't in the DS version. So differences for sure. I don't know why I'm getting hit so easily. I am playing really badly. I do have to apologize. I haven't played a Mario game since uh, last month when we played Mario DS. And honestly, that one controls a little bit differently. So if I am a little bit rusty, I apologize. But since this is, this is the Wii we're talking about and there's motion controls on the Wii, they definitely had to utilize that in this game. To move this platform, I need to tilt the controller either to the left or to the right. It's a little bit difficult to do with hooves, but I, I, I do my best to make it work. Luckily, it's not too demanding. It's one of the few Wii games that isn't crazy with its motion controls. And then I think there's a star coin up here. We're gonna be careful about how we do this because if I press this button, all the coins turn into blocks and all the blocks turn into coins, so I can get a lot of coins, but I wanna make sure that I get them to turn into blocks so I can get the star coin. We already have two of those already, so things are turning out really well. And one thing is that this game is just really pretty. I love all the backdrops and everything. It definitely is a huge step up compared to Mario DS, which was already a pretty, pretty game. A pretty, pretty game. It was very beautiful. I had wonderful art. But this one as well. So if I remember this correctly, if I slide under, I almost did that correctly. I might be able to get like another one up or something. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, we can only slam down here. And this I do remember. Boom, we get ourselves a power star. I could get another ice flower there, but I wanna make sure I make the most of this power star before we get anything more, because I can get a ton more one-ups. Come on, get this one. Yeah, there we go. I could get him, but I'd rather go up this way because if I butt slam down this, which remember, you can only butt slam through uh, brick blocks like that if you're big Mario, so you wanna make sure that you didn't get hit too much. And then we pick up this pal block, that star coin we saw up there, We'll fall on down. Awesome. So we're doing pretty well so far. We have 17 lives already. We got all the three star coins in level two. And you might notice that just like World 1, 2 in the original Mario. Oh, okay, I forgot he came back. Oh, I can't get up here now. Oh, come on. Well, there should still be that mushroom back this way. I am definitely getting hit way more often than I normally do in this game. So I'm trying to be a bit more careful. I don't trust myself anymore. Oh no! <laughs> no, I can't die in the first world so easily. Oh, I'm the worst. So what I was saying before is that you can actually get up like this, and if you do it correctly, there should be a little secret. It's not anything major, but you get a couple extra coins out of it, which is nice. So let's move this way. And like I said, it's nothing major, but it's just pretty cool that you know they sort of added a little, I guess, homage to World 1, 2 in the original Mario Bros, where you can get up to the top of it and you can eventually get that secret warp. You don't get a secret warp here, but it would be pretty cool if they added that at some point. <laughs> Anyways, we just got normal Fire Flower now, which can still be a plenty powerful power up. And just like we used before, we can use this little ramp and get to the top of the flagpole. And if we do, we get a one up out of it. So I'll be trying to do that a bit more often than I did it in my new Super Mario Bros. DS playthrough where I just didn't do very well with those. So let's hope that everything works out. And as you can see, not only do we unlock World 1-3, but also a mushroom hunt, which is actually worthwhile to take these when they're in front of me now because, well, I guess you'll see in a moment. For now, let's just go ahead and check one of these out since you know we haven't yet. This is our first one we're unlocking. 
Feeling lucky? Step right through the door to win some items. So let's see if I'm any good at this. Some of these are a bit tricky. Uh, oh, the power of panels. I really like this one. Press one to punch a panel and flip it. Match a pair to win. Match two of these and it's all over. So a Bowser or Bowser Jr. See, that's sort of what's really tough about this is I've never actually got it all the way. I've gotten a lot of these, but I've never done it all the way where I've gotten every single match. Okay, there's a mushroom. So we can get a lot of power-ups this way if we don't mess up, oh no. So if I get another Bowser Jr., it's already over. There's a fire flower, that's good. No, that's a Bowser, I don't like it. Okay, that's it, oh, nice, a propeller cap. There's another propeller cap. Fire, or not fire flower, but ice flower. Another fire flower, I'm gonna do this one. Yes, yeah, so we got the ice cap, or not the ice, the ice flower. Another fire flower, can I actually do it? Oh my. Okay, so two of these are gonna be a Bowser and Bowser Jr. And then the other one is gonna be a propeller cap. No, it wasn't that one. Was it the was it the one that I skipped over? No, it was the top right. Darn. That is the closest I've ever gotten to getting all of them. Darn, maybe one day. That's not the first time that we'll run it, or the last time we'll run into one of those. Uh, press one on the map to access your items. Don't be afraid to use items to clear a tough course. So unlike New Super Mario Bros, where you get to hold one item here in Mario Bros Wii, we actually get to hold a slew of items, as many as we want, I think up to 99 for each slot. That sort of spoils some of the power-ups coming up soon, though, so I'm gonna ignore that we even saw that and head into World 1-3. This level is very, very cool, because it adds another thing that is new to the new Super Mario Bros. games. And we still have our Fire Flower, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage as much as I possibly can. Plenty of coins to get in this level as well, it'll be fun. And I think it also has our first secret exit and the return of Hammer Bros, get out of here, dude. Didn't have to even use my fire flower. Just use classic jumping on the block that you're standing on, attack. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And anyways, Yoshi's here, oh, I love him. As you can see, he can jump, he can flutter jump, he can eat little fruits, he's the best ever. I think there's a way to get a couple one-ups here if I'm smart about it, maybe not here, I think coming up. But yeah, as you can see, there are different fruits across the level, we wanna make sure that we pick them up. I think this is the first time Yoshi's been in a platforming game or a 2D platforming game for Mario since, I guess, Yoshi's Island. But if we're just talking normal Mario games, I guess Super Mario World, but I guess Yoshi's Island is still considered Super Mario World 2. I don't know. It's sort of weird. Anyways, we get another one just in case we did lose our Yoshi friend. It gets really crazy when you're playing four players because that's sort of another big thing about this game. And let me go ahead and get rid of this guy if I can. Whoop, yep, yeah, I got him. <laughs> that's cool. But um, that's another big thing about this game that's different from the DS version and this, is, this one features four player co-op and that's a big focus on the new Super Mario Bros. games from here on out. I think all of them have some form of co-op while the original just sort of had like a single player campaign. Okay, there we go, we got five. And we get an ice flower for it, I'll take it, sure. So let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. Nothing can stop Yoshi. He can jump on top of the piranha plants as well. He's just a little monster, I love it. Here we go, we're just gonna make sure we go through everything, try to get as many coins, one-ups, everything as we can. And here comes our first little secret of this level, right here. So sneaky, I love it. These hidden walls, which also were another thing that weren't in the DS New Super Mario Bros are just all over the place. They can be really tricky to find. So there's tons of new stuff in this game. That's why I think it was so exciting for me is that it was just, oh my gosh, so much new stuff. Let's explore it all and have a good time. And then we got another Yoshi egg just in case we need it. For us, it's just a bunch of points. I don't know how many points we're gonna have by the end of the series. Oh, I remember this. This is where we can get a couple one-ups. We can spit that out. If we follow the fireball, it'll go through everybody. Come on, come on. There's a the one-up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, can I get one of these hammer bros? I guess not, looks like the hammer bros ruined my fun. So let's try to ruin theirs. Come on, hop down. Ugh. Oh, okay, that didn't quite work. Here we go, hey up. Oh, come on, you know what? We're doing this the old fashioned way. Okay, so you might have noticed that I missed a couple of things there, so let me go back like this. And, uh, hiya. <laughs> you went spinning. That was weird, that piranha plant just went flying away. So there is actually a secret exit on this level, but I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. We're gonna worry about it in a moment, like after we complete this level and everything. I wanna get this one block, so I'll hop off of Yoshi just like that. And I think right here, yep, should be the end of the level. Yeah, we got the one up. And unfortunately, the biggest downside to Yoshi is that we can't bring him from level to level, so he's gonna have to stay here. See ya, Yoshi, whatever level you pop up in next, or maybe this level, because we're gonna be heading back into it. But as you can see, that unlocks 
the next level, which is one tower, and a star hut. But before we worry about any of that, the toad wants to bother us. Mario, bad news, this letter just got dropped off at the castle. I ordered my minions to stuff every annoying toad they catch into a question block. Ha, huh. if you wanna save them, come alone. You won't get any help from your friends, Bowser Jr. So if I'm, I'm worried about them. If you find a toad, carry him to the goal. So we can go back into levels, oh boy. Oh boy. No, <laughs> he seems to be the first victim. So as you can see, Goombas might grab some toads and stuff them in a random question block in a level, and your goal is to pick up that toad and bring it to the end of the level. It's not something I'm gonna bother with right now, just because it's just sort of a weird excuse to replay old levels, and all it really gives you is some power-ups, which I don't need much right now. They're great if you already had to replay that level for like an extra star coin you missed, but if you don't, then it's not really worth playing them all that much. So I'm gonna leave it for now, maybe we'll have them at the end of the series, we can go through a bonus episode getting a couple toads. But for now, we're gonna head back into World 1-3 and get ourselves a secret exit. This one isn't too bad either. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's just a sneaky little secret. So we're gonna rush through all of this as quickly as we can. Even if we take a little bit of damage, it should be fine. I won't take Yoshi just yet because he does make me go a little bit slower. So I'd rather just run through all of this. Oh boy, ow. <laughs> yeah, that's where we can also get another one up or two is from that area. Ignore this hammer bros if I can manage. Oh gosh, you're scary. Okay, maybe now it's a good time to take a Yoshi if we can find one. Just gotta be picky about where I jump. Don't wanna land into the mouth of a piranha plant. That wouldn't be fun. Okay, we got Yoshi. Oh, he's yellow. I guess he has a different color depending on which one you get, which is pretty cool. So let's get up here. You might have noticed there's a little secret ledge. And it might seem just like your basic secret for now because we can just pick up a couple coins, another fruit, but it's actually much more than that. Instead of hopping down there, what we're gonna do is flutter jump by holding the jump button up this way where there's a sneaky little secret. As you can see, we can see our little feet right here and then into an unseen pipe, which has us plop out right here. A secret exit, our first secret exit in the game. This game does have some really cool secret exits and also some very, very difficult ones, but it actually looks different here. As you can see, the fortress that you exit out of in the flagpole is sort of like dark and gray. You didn't have that in New Super Mario Bros. DS. The secret exits were sort of inconspicuous. You didn't know it was a secret exit until you hopped out of the level. But that unlocks our first cannon, which just like in the last series with New Super Mario Bros. DS, we're not gonna worry about that until the very end of the playthrough. But for now, we have our first star hunt. Now I don't remember these too much. I don't know if there's a mini game tied to these at all. Here's a rare item, sure it'll come in handy. Well, thank you, we got ourselves another star. And instead of having to put that in an, a singular item slot, once again, we have that in our, like, I, I don't even know what to call it, but like our item list, as you can see. So that makes things a little bit more useful. And now we have one tower. Looks like we're gonna be taking on Larry Koopa. Hopefully everything works out well. I mean, we already have 25 lives. If anything bad is gonna happen, hopefully I have enough lives to make it last. And we got dry bones, oh gosh, that's scary. I think we'll do okay, but you never know. But luckily, there's actually a way to defeat dry bones quite easily in this game that you don't see in many of the other Mario games, and that's with the ice flower. You can just turn him into ice, throw him against the wall, and boom, he'll just be smashed to smithereens, and there's no way for him to come back. And that's pretty handy, because before that, there was no real way to like securely get rid of a dry bones. So we gotta be careful about this dude, but I can take him out whenever. I feel sort of awful doing that, because I can just land on their head and keep moving from that, so maybe I should. Don't wanna unnecessarily destroy dry bones. I just feel like that's rude. So I think if I hit this, there might be, an, yep, another power up. Probably should have saved that in case I need it for later. But I do see a star coin on the top left. It's a bit tough to get. Timing has to be perfect. And my timing was okay. You might also be noticing that when I jump, I might do like a little spin in the air, just like that. How you do that is you shake the the Wii mode. There's a lot of motion controls in this game. And I'm not the biggest fan of motion controls. I've talked about it a lot in previous videos. Uh, I think that sometimes they can be great, but sometimes it can sort of be not for everybody, especially you know certain disabled gamers. That can always be an issue. And I, I've never been a big fan of it because of that, but I feel like this game does it okay. There's not too much motion controls. It's not entirely required to play the game, even though it does make it a little bit easier. So I'm a little 50-50 on it. Okay, so let's wait here. And I'm gonna hop onto that platform just like that. And I think I gotta go up the other way, but I can't remember. It might not make any difference. Yeah, I think it actually doesn't make a difference here. So let me just go up like that. There might be like a, oh, oh, there it is. Never mind, I was right. <laughs> okay, I thought I misremembered, but I actually remembered 
correctly, so I misremembered my my remembrance. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get some red coins if we can. These ones can be tough to get. I need to get these two, and then get these three. Nice, and we get another one up. Oh no, my one up! Come back here! Ah, got it, okay. 27 lives. Well, let's see if we can't get to like 50 lives in today's episode, that'd be insane. I don't know if that's gonna be possible or not, but I'm, I'm sure if we try hard enough and we don't die too many times. And it looks like we had the option of a fire flower instead of an ice flower, and I think I'll take it. Is there a block on this side? Oh, hey, look at that! Another one up. One step closer to 50 lives. So we got our first boss fight of the game, I think. Uh, hey, here he is, it's Roy Koopa. He's got a little star on the side of his head. I've never noticed that. So we could take him out a couple ways. I think it'd be fun just to, you know, use fire, fireballs against him for now. Okay, so that was actually just his first hit, as you can see. And it's sort of similar to the Bowser Jr. battles in the last game, oh my, but honestly, I think they're a little bit more difficult. He doesn't get taken out as easily. They all sort of have their own tra traits, all the Koopalings, so we gotta be careful. Luckily, he isn't too bad, being the first boss. We're able to take him out without taking a hit. Yeah. Mario, you may be number one. I mean, you have a lot more of the game to go before I think you can truly say that, but he says it after every boss fight regardless. Okay, so instead of having to deal with another Koopaling, he's gonna hop off into the castle and we'll see him again there. And, yeah, we got that completed. So we're doing really well. Every level we've we've tackled so far, we have fully completed without too much of an issue. I died in one too, which was embarrassing. But beyond that, we're doing great. Let's keep moving, let's save, and check out one four. I have a feeling this might be a water level, seeing how it's a bridge above water. We'll have to see. I do like the overworld a little bit better in this game than the previous, just because it is a little bit more interesting in the detail of it, and that makes sense. Of course, it's on a home console instead of a portable. Let's go ahead and get the ice flower. I always try to make sure I get the the item the game is giving to me, because I feel like that's always like the most recommended thing. And these guys are just chilling over here. I think they're supposed to be here to like, sort of tell you, hey, if you have the ice flower, you can actually get rid of these guys sometimes. It's sort of weird how it works. But those guys are not fun to deal with. So I feel like I would have rather had the fire flower because you can take these guys out in one hit, but this definitely makes something useful. As you can see with the big cheap chiefs, you can actually turn them into ice and they become little platforms. So that'll be helpful later on. But for now, we're just gonna worry about getting through this level unscathed or as close as we can get to it. So if there are little blocks over here for getting power-ups, I might not worry about it so much. I'm just focused more on surviving even though there are a lot of little fishies around here. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. I'm gonna dodge all those coins, even though I wanna get a bunch of lives, I feel like I wanna keep my life a little bit more. Look at all the yellow ones. Okay, they sort of move in their own little formations. I like the little school of cheap cheeps. Oh, uh, it's so cute. Apparently, we we're already halfway through the level. That's sort of concerning, I haven't gotten any star coins. I hope I haven't missed any, because I don't remember there being any over there. Okay, let's go under you. Oh boy, oh boy, be careful. And here's where we used the ice flower a little bit, as you can see the little cheap cheap right there. And then we land on top of them, and we can use them as a little platform. It's very useful. So th that was the first star coin, thank goodness. Got a little clam. He just has some coins, I gotta be careful, I don't wanna be swallowed up by him. That's scary. Everything about underwater levels is so scary. I do think that if they hit the ceiling, they should explode, yep. That's sort of awful when you think about it. But maybe I won't do that anymore either. Save the cheap cheeps, save the dry bones. I just like swim up this, I think. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to do? I think if I press swim a lot, I can just get up here if I just press the button a ton, just like that, but I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed, yep, to make these guys sort of block the current, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Doesn't seem to actually work. I think you're just supposed to press the swim button a bunch. Weird. Okay, be careful. Try to get past here quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, I don't like it and then I gotta get past you. You can see the final star coin over that way. But you can see here, this guy blocks the current. So now we can get under there. Okay, so let's go down this pipe. What is gonna be down here? I don't remember. Oh, more clowns. Oh, but this guy over there, I don't like him. He'll chase us. He's like the cheap cheap from uh from the last game. He's like, oh, Mario, I'm such a big fan. Oh, a star power. I wanna make sure I take this on my way out as much as I can. Leave me alone. You know what, I'm gonna take the fire flower now. I think that's gonna be a better choice. This guy's even more mad at me. I was like, how dare you freeze me? Okay, but I wanna take this on its way up, or on my, when I'm on my way up. That way I have as much time with it as possible. I just wanna get this one up. I know I'm taking a ton of time right now. Okay, and 
Oh gosh, I'm not doing a very good job of getting it. Because I want as much time with it as possible so that we can get up this way, and I think there'll be a lot of fish so that we can get a couple one-ups maybe. Oh, there's a lot of fish, all right. We just gotta get to them. Got them. Oh, they're all, they, they all try to get away from me. They are not my biggest fans. Okay, well I got two one-ups out of that, not bad. Could have been better, could have been worse. So I'm not gonna complain. Oh gosh, I clam fell. Are you okay there, buddy? He's like, goodbye. See you on the ocean floor. So we got two more of these purple dudes. They're not fun to deal with, but luckily the fire flower saves us a bunch. And then I see that one last one up. I wanna get that, because I think the end of the level's coming up. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, I don't like the clams. And we can go on through this way. We've been actually spending a lot of time on this level. We only have like 200 seconds left, which honestly isn't too much in this game. And there we go, another one up. Awesome stuff. So I feel like we're making our way through pretty quickly, but at the same time, I have been recording for like 20, 25 minutes, so these episodes might be a little long, which is fine. I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. And here is another addition to this game. As you can see, there's a little Goomba walking around. And we gotta be careful because he moves with us. And if we bump into him, you can see it goes it goes into a little mini game. So this can be a little bit difficult if you don't have power-ups. Luckily for me, we do. So all we gotta do is just stand up here and throw some fire flowers at him. And we take care of all the enemies. It just makes things a little bit easier for us because we're supposed to pick up all these toad balloons. And it doesn't matter how you do that. You can go ahead and get all the toad balloons without taking out care of a single Goomba. As long as you get them all. And for it, you get three mushrooms. So that can be helpful if you just died and you wanna go into a level as Big Mario instead of Small Mario. And then we have another mushroom hunt. I don't think this will be the same mini game. I think it'll be a different one. I think there's like one or two different mini games. But maybe I'm wrong, we'll find out. I feel like you step right through the door to win some items. What are we gonna get? I mean, maybe I'm wrong, I can't remember. It looks like it is the power of panels again. Let's see if I can't get them all this time. I mean, I got so close last time, I was so excited. But that's a Bowser right away. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one, but because there's no way to know. It purely is a guessing game. I mean, even if we failed right now, at least we got a fire flower and a propeller cap. There's Bowser Jr. No! Ah, we barely got through any of it. That's a shame. I don't know if these panels are predetermined or if they're totally random. Maybe there is a way to like know which one it's gonna be depending on what's showing up, but I don't know. And then we also have one six, and then up here you can see it branches out to one five, which is the level we'll be going to because I wanna do them all in order. So yeah, let's get to it, one five. I remember this level being one of the more difficult ones out of World One. I mean, they're all pretty easy in World One, but this one, uh, because I thought I pressed jump, I apparently didn't. <laughs> well, what did I say? This is a higher risk of failure. There's a lot more spaces where you can just fall in between stuff and just fall to the, the endless below, and that's not good. So let's try that again. This is where maybe that mushroom I just got from all those Goombas would be helpful, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now, because we should get a mushroom somewhere around here, maybe like, this, that's a mushroom. Now I remember that, that there was a, a tough star coin to find around here, so I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can when looking through everything to make sure I don't miss anything. There, There's a star coin, is this our first one? I hope so. Whoop, no, that's our second one, so we definitely missed something. I think we need the propeller cap for it, so if we can find one later in this level, that would be great. And as you can see, this is another new thing. If we stand on top of those little screws, we can shake our Wiimote and uh, it'll sort of move it, as you can see. It moves one and raises the other, lowers one, raises the other. So it can be a bit weird like that. Oh, okay, so I got up here, that's good. Because I'm gonna try to get all of this and hopefully it will get me a propeller cap. Come on, come on, propeller cap, yes! Okay, so I can go back with this because I'm almost positive that we missed a star coin that needs a propeller cap at the very beginning of the level. If I remember correctly, because this is one of the ones that I would always get stuck on, like, oh, what did I do? Where is the where is the platforms? Okay, they're right here. No, no, come on! I need a little bit more boost off of him. Jeez, that stinks. It's a tough level for sure. Okay, this time, no mistakes. We're gonna go ahead and get a mushroom. That way we can get a propeller cap right at the beginning. I'm such a dingus, I mess everything up. And then all we have to do is not fall down. Just don't fall. I don't know why I'm getting so scared about all of this. So yeah, hitting you will give me a propeller cap, and then I'm pretty sure, yep, if I go this way, land on one of these blocks, and then if I duck under this, we got ourselves a vine. Let's go on up it and see what happens. 
Ooh, there it is. So I think this is supposed to be pretty difficult if you don't have the propeller cap. I don't know how you'd get up here without it. Maybe you could have. But as you can see, you can't get up it normally, so you're supposed to ride these things up there. I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that when I got a perfectly fine propeller cap that'll get me anywhere I need to go? And that definitely makes this level a ton easier is having the propeller cap for some of this stuff, like the uh, star coin we're about to run up on. But you can also use that Koopa shell to get this. But once again, why do that when we got a propeller cap? Oh gosh, <laughs> speaking of which, I almost lost it. So get up this way, and... I'm gonna try to skip out on some of this so that we can just sort of save our time for more important things, like maybe getting another one up from these now. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by this guy. Nice, and I got it. Give me that one up. Nice, okay, so we got that. We can head this way and get a checkpoint that way. If we do die again, we don't have to do all of that again. That's much nicer. Where is this gonna bring me? There's clearly something up here, but I'm trying to, it's not working out. Hold on. Go down. No, no, come on, just land on the Mario. What's your problem, dude? Okay, maybe it'd just be easier if I go here first. No, come on. What is wrong with me? Jump. Got it. Easy as that. And there's nothing up here except for me. <laughs> that was funny. So, what am I looking for? I'm not really sure. Whoa. Oh, there's something up this way. Just more coins. I mean, I don't mind coins, coins are great. But I'm also looking for some other stuff. Ooh, what is this about? Oh, we got rid of that Koopa in a very stylish manner. So here's even more. I, I didn't realize there were two red coin rings in one level. That's quite a lot. Got it. I don't know where this other star coin, okay, it's just right here in plain sight. Never mind. pretty easy one to get. Don't have to worry about it. Gotta be careful, because you can only propel her in the air once, and then your feet have to touch the ground before you can do it again. Even bouncing off enemies, as we saw before, doesn't get you an extra propeller spin, so it can be a bit scary. But there we go, we got it. Everything's looking good now. I'm so happy. I'm really enjoying playing this game. It's it's just so much fun. So that's one way we can get to the tower or the castle, but it's not the only way. And as you can see, there's this Goomba here that I guess we're running right into. I don't know why he moved. That's sort of the thing about these things. There's a mini game like this in every single world, and every time you move, they'll move. We can see that it's a little bit different this time. Instead, we have very, oh gosh, large Goombas. I was trying to make sure I land on each one because if you can manage it, it's not easy, but you can get a couple one-ups out of it. Oh, too bad I stink. Got it? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it. But if you can land on each one of them, I think you get a couple one-ups just for you know having the combo jump. We're fine though, we're fine. 38 lives, might not be 50, but it's pretty gosh darn close. Okay, so we're gonna head into this next level, which is World 1-6, should be pretty good. I don't think I need to get any extra power-ups or anything. I think we'll be fine with what we got. And I don't know what this level's gonna be like. It might just be sort of a, no, oh, come on, you stinker. Get out of here. Oh, this thing's moving quick. Oh, it's moving real quick, I don't like it. It's scary. See, I would've just got another power-up right here, would've been all fine. But no, that Koopa had to mess it up, so I'm gonna make sure that every Koopa that's in my way, that they're no longer in my way. <laughs> So here's our first star coin. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this normally. There we go, got it, got it. Ooh, nice combo jumps there. Could have gotten another one. Oh, and there's a vine already. I don't remember this vine. Weird. Well, it's just a power up area, so makes sense. I get a one up. I wanted anything but a one up there. I mean, I guess but a one up and a mushroom. I wanted an actual power up, but I'm sure we'll find one soon. And here's the next Star Queen already. Okay, this level isn't so bad so far. A little bit tricky with some of the things, but I think we'll make it work for the most part. I just gotta make sure none of these pipes have any secrets. Ooh, there's definitely something down there, isn't there? Do any of these have anything? There's a Fire Flower, let's go ahead and get that. Leave me alone, Koopas. You've already ruined one of my power-ups. Ooh, here we go. I think this is where the third Star Coin is. Yep, right here. We just gotta be careful, because I know that, yep, Goombas fall from those pipes. A lot of like moving circles, it's very odd. Okay, so we should be good. No, wait, oh, now it's the Goombas running my power-ups. I thought I was gonna land on the other one, and I ended up not. Okay, oh, what is this? Oh, free coins, I'll take them. <laughs> There's not too many of them, but I'll take them nonetheless. Uh, what is this gonna be, probably a one-up? I don't care, I don't care, it's too risky. I don't wanna take that risk. And this should be right here, oh boy, the end. 
Of the level! Yeah, we made it! <laughs> if you're ever afraid of making a jump, you can always do that spin midair. It gives you a little bit more distance, which is great. But there we go, there's another level done, which means I think we are all set up to go ahead and take on the castle. I don't think there's any other levels we have to tackle. But if I forgot any, we'll just do it after the castle. So for right now, we're on one castle. Let's beat up Roy Koopa for good and see how that ends up working out for us. I mean, hopefully everything turns out all right. The tower was very easy, so, oh my. We already have lava, which of course is a one hit takedown no matter what power ups you have. That ain't good. I really like this castle though. I mean, everything about world one in this game is really, really good. It's exciting to me. Hmm. And I know that some of them do have some cool secrets. Like if I were to ride this cog up here, I'm pretty sure, yep, we can find some cool little hidden coins. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, they're not worth it if I get taken out. Uh, got it. Okay, so we gotta be careful with all of this as well. But it's just a lot of fun to find these secrets. Like I feel like there's another one on top of those cogs as well that'll like bring you somewhere special. But I don't wanna risk it right now. At least not from that angle. Maybe if I were to no, I don't know why I'm playing so bad right now. Ooh. There we go, I think this is a little secret. Am I mistaken? No, I'm not, look at this. This is so cool, this is why I love this game. Because I only found this secret, I think like only a year or two ago, when I was just playing the game for fun. And it's just, it's really cool. Because it's just great, I love it. <laughs> okay, what do we get there? It's just like a, a little unnecessary secret but it gives you some cool stuff. It's just rewarding to find all on your own. Like, hey, I never knew that was there with how many times I've played this game. It's probably one of my most played Mario games out of all of them. I've played a good chunk of Mario games at this point, but I feel like this one I've completed multiple times, which I, I can't say I've done with too many other Mario games. Like, thinking about it, Super Mario Bros. the original, I've only completed like once, like actually gotten to the end of the game. Oh yeah. Let's be, let's be a little careful with these swamps before I go down memory lane. Cause these guys aren't nice. They're gonna try to, oh, thwomp me. Let's get up like that. But yeah, like Super Mario Bros. I've only finished once. Super Mario Bros. 2, I haven't ever really played too much. Mario 3, I've played but never beat. Super Mario World, I've completed like once, 100%, and a couple times just getting to the end, but only 100% it at once. Is there a pipe up here? There's not. I was gonna say, I, I didn't know about that either. I don't know if any of these gears really lead anywhere. I mean, of course you can get on top of them. Whoa, we're running quick. Just like this, but I don't think they do anything for us. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I was just curious. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, keep moving, keep moving. Don't get squished, don't get squished. Oh, we're moving real quick right now. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful about this. We're trapped in with the dry bones, I don't like it. Let me out of here. And we're still missing one star coin, but there's also a mysterious pipe here, so maybe those two things are related. Okay, see, I'm gonna let him fall in the lava. So sorry, buddy, but at the same time, not too sorry. Plop down like that, it's a tough jump to make. If you don't make it right, you might land right in the lava. And here's our final star coin. So I should be able to jump, jump, and I could stick around if I wanted to get some extra coins, but I don't think it's worth it. Risking everything just for a coin or two. Doesn't sound like a very good idea. And then here we should get another power up. Will it be worth it? I don't know. I think it'd be fun to try out the uh, boss fight with a propeller cap. I don't think I've really ever done that before. Well, let's find out if I can do it here. Okay, the, the, the castle bosses are always so intense. You have this long corridor. And then, oh my, this is very uh pretty. All the different colors. Hi, Kamek. Yeah, Kamek is a thing in this game as well. What is he gonna do? Uh-oh. I guess he's enchanting the floor. So yeah, that's sort of something uh, Kamek does a lot in this game, is that he'll not, instead of like enchanting the characters, he usually enchants the environment around them, and here he's made the, the ground into like separate pillars where they move up and down, which can be tough to deal with. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh, okay, be careful. No, wait, oh, you stinker, you got rid of my propeller cap, I'm gonna get rid of you. Okay, keep moving, be careful. But yeah, that's sort of something you'll end up noticing in all the castle levels, is that each one has like its own different environment that changes things up a little bit. The Koopalings themselves play a little differently as well, but it's mostly the environments you'll be focusing on. But we defeated Roy, and for that, no, that's actually, that's not Roy. That's uh, Larry. I've not, I've not been calling him Roy, he's Larry. But we got a key for it. And oh, hey, it's a princess. Can we get her back already? Or no. 
Uh, uh, okay, can I just hop on? I guess Mario's too polite for that. Well, goodbye, princess, see you in the next world. <laughs> Mario's just like, well, there she goes. I sort of spaced out there, maybe I should have done something. Okay, so, the castle is completed and we chase after Princess Peach, but as you can see, you got all the star coins in world one. Awesome stuff, so we did fully complete everything there, which is excellent, we don't have to worry about going back, and as you can see, we have arrived in world two, the desert world. There's a pyramid, there's falling sand dunes, and just a whole bunch of awful stuff, and now we have Roy Koopa. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not too, so excited for this world. One of my least favorite in the game. Very difficult levels in the mix with this one. It jumps up in difficulty quite crazily. With all that being said, I don't have to worry about it now. I can worry about it in the next episode. So be sure to let me know, guys, if you enjoyed this first episode. Let me know if you'd like to see more, all that kind of stuff. I'm super excited to play more, so I probably will be no matter what. But knowing that you guys, I have your support, that's always great. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Zebra Mario so now you've watched the end of the You're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.